Hello, my name is Anne Dwayeski Santos, and I am the Director of Certificates here at Harvard Extension School. This short video reviews the 10 certificates that we offer in the field of information technology. A quick note, we offer two IT undergraduate certificates, which are in blue font in this presentation, but otherwise our certificates are all graduate level. Unless I specifically mention that a certificate is an undergraduate certificate, please assume that I'm speaking about the graduate level. When you register for courses, be sure to select the credit level appropriate for your certificate, as you cannot earn a graduate certificate if you've taken your coursework at the undergraduate level. Let's start with our programming and coding certificates, as these provide the foundation upon which a number of our other IT certificates build. There are a lot of similarities between these two certificates. They're both offered in both a CSCI 10 or Java track and a CSCI 50 track. They also draw largely from the same group of courses. There will be undergraduate and graduate level students in each course with varying requirements depending on the level at which the course is being taken. But how are they different? The undergraduate coding certificate offers a more tightly curated curriculum, which might appeal to students new to the field and looking for concrete guidance on which courses to take and in what order. Students taking the coding CSCI 10 track have three required courses and for the coding CSCI 50 track, there are two required courses and one elective. Those looking for more flexibility and to go deeper with their skills building may wish to explore the graduate level programming certificate, which offers a wider range of course choices. At the graduate level, our programming CSCI 10 track offers one elective, while the 50 track all allows for two. The undergraduate coding certificate stacks to our ALB degree. While programming does not stack to any of our master's degrees, many of the courses in the certificate can be counted toward our ALM degrees in the technology fields of study. So how do you figure out which track is right for you? Essentially, it's important to know that the CSCI 50 track will cover all of the foundational material in one semester, while with the CSCI 10 Java track, this foundational coursework is spread out over two semesters. Take a look at the syllabi and see which approach feels right for you. We'll turn next to our web development offerings. We have quite a few of these and I hope to give you some information that will help you decide which might be right for you if this is your area of interest. Our undergraduate certificate in Introduction to Web Development is a three course offering with courses taken at the undergraduate level. In this certificate, you'll learn the foundations of website and web application development using CSS, HTML5, JavaScript, and PHP. The certificate might appeal to you if you're interested in applying the coursework to an ALB degree. If you're someone who does well with clear guidance and fewer choices, this certificate might also be a good choice for you, as the curriculum is tightly curated with fewer elective options than our graduate level certificates in this area. If you want to go beyond the basics and want some additional flexibility in your course selection, or if you think you might like to pursue further graduate level coursework or possibly pursue a graduate degree, you may want to consider one of our three graduate level certificates in this area. In terms of our graduate certificates in this field, our front end graduate certificate is a good place to start if you're new to web development. Through your coursework, you'll learn how to build a fully responsive interactive website implementing best practices for website design. If you have some background in programming and are interested in evolving simple static websites into dynamic database-driven web applications, our back-end web development certificate may be right for you. You'll master scripting languages and learn about technologies, processes, and platforms for web development. If you want to have full stack skills, you're welcome to earn both four course graduate certificates or you can take our five course web technologies certificate and make sure you combine courses from both disciplines. This way, you will learn the fundamentals of website development, you'll build dynamic database driven web applications and implement core concepts of data management. If you're interested in finding patterns and deriving insights from large data sets, you may be interested in pursuing one of our certificates in data analytics or data science. In our Data Analytics Graduate Certificate, you will deepen your analytics knowledge to inform strategic business decisions. 
The certificate is a good option if you don't have a background in Python. You'll have an option to learn that language in your certificate coursework. Coursework in this certificate does require familiarity with introductory statistics and knowledge of R. However, you can use the optional introductory course requirement to solidify these skills if necessary. All students are required to take one of our advanced statistics courses as the core requirement of the certificate. You will then complete the certificate by taking either two or three electives, depending on whether you've taken the optional intro course. The certificate can be stacked to either our finance or information management systems ALM fields of study. The certificate is also a strong standalone credential for those aiming to work as business analysts for their organizations. In the data science graduate certificate, you will derive predictive insights by applying advanced statistics, modeling, and programming skills. This certificate assumes a solid working foundation in statistics and Python. We recommend students begin with the required statistics course, followed by two electives, and then the required course of CSCI 109A or 63C. Even though they have intro in the title, for most people, these courses should be taken last. That said, if you come to the certificate with more advanced skills and wish to take 109B or C or other advanced data science courses, you may, of course, take the required course before these more advanced electives. If you have questions about which of these certificates is right for you, please reach out to our office and we'll be happy to talk with you about your learning goals. In September 2019, the Bureau of Labor Statistics projected a 31% growth in information security jobs from 2019 to 2029, which is seven times faster than the national average growth predicted. Through this graduate certificate, you will build knowledge of the tools and protocols needed to navigate, use, and manage security technologies, as well as gain insight into the legal, social, and political dynamics of the cyber universe. The certificate consists of two core courses that cover the fundamentals of cybersecurity. You then have two elective courses in which you can dive more deeply into the subfield that is of most interest to you. Our cybersecurity graduate certificate stacks to our ALM degrees in the fields of software engineering, information management systems, and cybersecurity. It is also a strong standalone credential. Students who have completed this certificate have gone on to become information security engineers and cybersecurity analysts, among many other roles. Finally, I'd like to spend a minute on our Learning Design and Technology graduate certificate, although this certificate is different from the other certificates in our IT field. As we've seen this past year in particular, having teachers, HR professionals, and others who understand the theories of online learning as well as the tools and techniques to implement strong online learning modules is critical to learning and teaching today, and it will remain so in the future. In our Learning Design and Technology graduate certificate, you'll explore learning theories, gain the technical skills to be able to implement online learning modules, and to be able to communicate effectively with other colleagues who do so, and you will apply what you learn to develop learning experiences for digital platforms implementing skills that you've learned in your coursework in project planning and management, communication, writing, and technology. This certificate is a great option for those new to the field, as well as those who have been working in learning design and online learning teams who would like to dive more deeply into theory or pick up some specific skills. I hope that this presentation has helped you to understand our certificate options in the field of information technology and to help as you determine which certificate might be right for you. Please reach out to us with any questions you may have, and thank you.